one more, one more blessing. Lord. When I look around, one more blessing. Everybody do it okay. One more blessing, Lord. That's one more, one more blessing. One more. scripture reading will be coming from Mark the fourth chapter beginning with the 35th verse again that is Mark the fourth chapter beginning with the 35th verse I am reading from the King James Version. And the same day when the evening was come, he says unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship and there was also with him other little ships and there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full and he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. God's word for the saints of God, and God's word is already blessed. If it's the Lord's will, and I live, I would like to talk from the subject, Jesus is the one we can depend on. Jesus is the one we can depend on. We are living in times of uncertainty. That's so. I don't know what the future holds, but I do know who holds the future. We're living in times where I have never seen as many things as tournaments, council, airplane flights, council are postponed. Things are 
gone in an instant, like steam from a kill. People have planned vacations to Disney World, Disneyland, beaches, going to theaters, and all have changed with no input from the one that planned them. People have been boasting of what we are going to do and how we are going to do it has now been changed. And one of the things that I remember as a child growing up, how often my parents and other folks uh, would end our conversation with the words, Lord's willing or if the Lord will. I didn't understand it then, but as I grew older and I found in the scripture, in the book of James, ah, fourth chapter, the 11th through the 15th verse. Now listen, you who say today or tomorrow, we will go to this or that city and spend a year there. Carry on business and make money. Why? You do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. James said and said, you ought to say, if the Lord's will and we live, we will do this or that. In my life, growing up as a child, my parents taught us how to depend on the Lord. Yes, sir. They taught us how much God loves us. They live the life in front of us showing by the examples how much God loves us. Not only did they teach us, not only did they show us by example, but they enforced that, reinforced it rather, uh, by teaching us the words of a song. That you don't holler here now. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me something. Now, not only did our parents teach us how much God loved us, they also taught us how to depend on the Lord. Uh, I heard someone say, they would much rather see a sermon any day than to hear one. One thing about it, Jesus taught by precepts and examples. Uh, I used to, I've heard it said that my earthly father said, uh, if you're making X's or if you're making O's, I can follow you. But if you're making X's and O's, I can't follow it. Now, uh, my parents, during their lifetime, I would see my mother take one peach or two peaches and make a peach cobbler. 
mostly bread and juice. Somebody know what I'm talking about. That's the reason why now when I want peace cobbler, I want some bread and a lot of juice. We would take corn that was raised in the field, shuck it, shell it, take it to the meal, and have cornbread made. They were showing us we can depend on the Lord. I'm told that my daddy, earthly father, the one he had to put up all his cows as collateral in order to borrow money for food and fertilizers for the next year's crop. Not even having a seed in the ground, but he was depending on the Lord. And when the crop was laid by, and we were glad when it was laying by time, my daddy would come in the house Fall down and start praying to God. I was real young. I don't know the words he remember the words he was saying, but I believe he was saying, after he'd done all that he could, he turned it over to the Lord. And I believe he was saying the words, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. There's no other help I know. If thou would draw thyself from me. Oh, tell me, where shall I go? That's all. Jesus said, let us pass over to the other side. Us, I mean the disciples on the boat. Us, I mean Jesus also. Jesus said, let us. Pass over to the other side. Now Jesus is telling them. That they are going to make it. To the other side. He said let us. Pass over. To the other side. He didn't say let us start and stop. He didn't say let us go out. And see what's going to happen. He didn't say let us see if we can make it. But Jesus said. Let us pass over to the other side. In other words, Jesus also knew the future. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, ah, ah. We as a pilgrims traveling through a strange land. Ah, ah. But God is still walking with us. Yes, sir. Jesus said, let us pass over to the other side. First of all, uh, they obeyed the Lord. No one questioned. They obeyed the Lord. And when we obey the Lord, he will take care of us. David said, I've been young and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor see begging bread. When we obey the Lord, he will take care of us. The Bible says, Ah, uh, when they started out, they took him, even as he was in the ship, which means that Jesus had been teaching all day to a multitude of people. The crowd had been so massive and pressing, they had forced him off the shore into the boat. And uh, Jesus was all man, and he was all God. 
on the human side. Uh, Jesus went down and went to sleep. Uh, but the Bible tell me that a great storm of wind uh, uh, and the waves beat into the ship. The storm rose and now the ship was now full. Yes, sir. And uh, I want to throw in here the disciples, they depended on Jesus. Yes, sir. Somebody here may realize that since you are a Christian, that you won't have a storms in your life. But I stopped by to tell you by way of this sermon that just because uh, you come to church every Sunday and just because you pay your tithes and offering just because you are educated just because you got CDs and bank account doesn't mean that storms will come in the light Storm does not discriminate. Sometimes, I got to leave you here. Sometimes the storm will arise. They will come in the front door and go out of the back door. And some of you uh, have heard me say this. Uh, and sometimes a storm will arise. And they will tarry. Yes, sir. Sometimes uh, they will bring a suitcase packed on both sides. They will bring toothpaste. They will bring combs. They will bring lotion, sleeping clothes, and house shoes. In other words, they come, yes, sir, to stay for a while. Yes, sir. But I stop by to tell you uh, when the storms of life are raising. I don't know about you, but I want the Lord to stand by me. Ain't God all right? Uh, as I begin uh, to look a little further, the disciples uh, uh, realize uh, that Jesus uh, was on uh, uh, in the ship, uh, on the inner part, in the inner part, uh, on a pillar, uh, and somebody uh, on the ship uh, realized uh, who they uh, had uh, on board. Uh, they realized uh, they had the one. Uh, that was there uh, when God said, uh, let us uh, make man uh, in our image uh, and after our likeness. Uh, somebody uh, realized uh, they had the one on board uh, that made uh, the waters uh, Took his hand, uh, scooped out the ocean, uh, formed the mountain. Uh, somebody said uh, they had the one uh, that was on board, uh, that was able uh, to make a way uh, out of no way. Uh, they went down uh, and awake him. Uh, I want you to know, uh, I don't think uh, he's hard to wing uh, because my Bible uh, uh, tell me that, uh, that the law neither uh, a slumber nor sleep uh, that heals uh, on, on the heavenly father's side uh, but on his mother's side uh, 
he got a little ego. They say to him, Master, carries thou not that we perish? Can I get a little help here before I close? Praise your Lord, as I begin to move on. Jesus, Mary's baby, arose, rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace be still, and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Number one, the disciples obeyed God. Number two, the disciples they depended on him. Ain't God alright? As I get ready to leave you, I have a question. In time like these, I want to know who are you depending on? Are you depending on the one with the most money? Ain't God alright? Well, I tell you that uh, Jesus uh, on the counter uh, of a thousand hills, uh, silver and gold uh, belong to him. Uh, I want to know uh, who you depending on. Uh, are you depending uh, on your job? Uh, and some of them are closing. Uh, I stop by uh, to tell you uh, on my uh, way to go around. Uh, through this uh, message uh, that you can uh, depend uh, on Jesus uh, as I begin uh, to go down uh, through the scripture uh, there are uh, some of God's people uh, who depended uh, on the Lord uh, ain't God alright uh, I believe uh, if I go down uh, to old man Noah uh, God I told Noah uh, to build him a hog, uh, and Noah, uh, depending on the Lord, uh, Noah built a hog. Uh, God told him uh, how many animals uh, they take into the hog. Uh, Noah uh, obeyed God, uh, and God uh, was saved. Uh, his family, uh, his wife, uh, three sons, uh, and their wives. Uh, because I uh, know uh, depending uh, on the Lord uh, Moses uh, come here Moses uh, and tell them uh, you depending uh, on the Lord uh, and the Lord turned uh, your rod uh, that was in your hand uh, he turned your rod uh, into a serpent uh, come here Joshua uh, and tell them the uh, when you depending on the Lord, uh, the God calls uh, the sun to stand still. Uh, I believe I better go on close now. Uh, Gideon, uh, he depending on the Lord. Uh, he won the battle uh, with 300 men. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, first he had uh, uh, too many men. Uh, but God narrowed it down uh, to only 300. Uh, and that was the same 300. Uh, ain't God all right? I believe that we reach down and lap water like a dog. But ain't God all right? Elijah, he trusted the Lord, depending on him. When the raven brought him bread and meat, and Elijah, a drink out of the broom. Ain't God all right? I got to leave you here. But before I do, there's one more man. I I want to tell you about uh, that the God told Abraham, uh, take uh, your only son, uh, Isaac, uh, whom thou lovest, uh, get thee in the land uh, of Mamariah uh, and offer him there uh, as a bunch of sacrifice uh, upon one of the mountains, uh, which I will tell you, uh, I will tell thee of, uh, ain't God all right, uh, Abraham uh, trusted uh, Obeyed uh, and depending on the Lord, uh, the Bible tell me, praise the boy, Abraham rose up uh, early in the morning, uh, saddled his ass, uh, took two of his young men with him, uh, 
and I to get sun high and a cleave of wood high a full burn off in high and rose up high good God Almighty high and went to the place high of which God had told him high and then high on the third day high there's something high about the number three high there are high three divisions of time the high past present and future high ain't God all right high Jesus can high three of his apostles uh, uh, with him uh, uh, on the Mount of Transfiguration uh, uh, Peter, James, and John uh, uh, three represent uh, uh, the Father, Preach Boy Son and Holy Ghost uh, uh, ain't God alright uh, uh, then on the third day uh, uh, Abraham lifted uh, uh, up his eyes uh, uh, and saw the place of fall uh, uh, and Abraham uh, uh, said unto the young men uh, uh, abide ye here uh, uh, with the ass uh, uh, and I and the lad ha, will go yonder ha, and wish him ha, and come again unto you. Ha. Abraham ha, was depending on the Lord. Ha. Abraham took the wood ha, of the brunt offering ha, and laid in the ha, upon Isaac's son. Ha. Abraham took the fire ha, in his hand ha, and a knife ha, and they went both of them ha, together. Ha. Ain't God alright? Ha. As they spoke ha, unto Abraham his father ha, and said, ha, My father, ha, good God Almighty, ha, he said, My father, ha, and he said, Here am I, my son, ha, and he said, Behold, ha, the fire in the wood, ha, but where's the lamb ha, for a burnt offering? Ha. Abraham said, ha, My son, ha, God will, ha, will provide. Ha, Ain't God all right, uh, uh, a lamb uh, uh, for a burnt offering? Uh, uh, so they went on, uh, uh, they came to the place, reach boy, where God had told them, uh, uh, Abraham built an altar, uh, uh, there uh, uh, laid the wood in order, uh, uh, the God I said uh, uh, is a God of order, uh, 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 and bound Isaac, uh, uh, his son, uh, uh, and laid him on the altar, uh, uh, of the altar upon the wood, uh, uh, and Abraham him, uh, the Bible said, uh, stretched forth his hand uh, and took the knife uh, to slay his son. Uh, and the angel uh, of the Lord uh, called unto him uh, out of heaven uh, and said, Abraham, uh, Abraham. Uh, and he said, Here uh, am I. Uh, and he said, Lay uh, not thine hand uh, upon the lad, uh, neither do thou. Uh, anything unto him uh, for now I know uh, that thou fearest God uh, seeing that thou uh, has not withheld thy son uh, thine only son for me uh, Abraham Please, boy, lifted up his eyes uh, and looked uh, and behold behind him uh, a ram uh, caught in the thicket uh, about his horn uh, and Abraham went uh, and took the ram uh, offered him up uh, a for a burnt offering uh, instead of his son uh, uh, ain't God alright uh, and Abraham uh, called the name uh, of that place uh, Jehovah Jireh uh, and it said unto this day uh, that the Lord uh, will uh, provide uh, ain't God alright uh, as I get ready uh, to leave you now uh, God have uh, been good to me uh, but if uh, uh, Noah uh, trusted, uh, depended uh, on the Lord. Uh, if Moses uh, depended uh, on the Lord. Uh, if Joshua uh, depended uh, on the Lord. Uh, if Daniel uh, depended uh, on the Lord. Uh, Jeff or David uh, depended on the Lord. Uh, when he fought Goliath. Uh, if Joseph. Uh, Depending on the Lord uh, When he brought him uh, From the pit uh, To the palace uh, If the three Hebrew boys uh, Shadrach uh, Meshach uh, And Abednego uh, Depending on the Lord uh, I have uh, A question to you uh, Right now uh, Is there anybody here uh, Know uh, Who you uh, Are going to depend on uh, 
I don't know about you, uh, but if they depending on him, uh, my name is Joy. Uh, I am uh, going to depend on him uh, because Jesus said, uh, I am the way, uh, the truth, and the life. Uh, no man uh, cometh unto the Father uh, but by me. Uh, I tell you, he is. Uh, he's all right. Uh, he's worth it uh, to depend on uh, because he heals uh, Mary's baby. Uh, he heals uh, the lily of the valley. Uh, he heals uh, Alpha and Omega. Uh, he heals uh, the beginning and the end. Uh, he heals uh, the bright and morning star. Uh, he heals uh, the good shepherd. Uh, he heals uh, a king of kings. Uh, he Lord of lords. Uh, he heals uh, the rose of Sharon. Uh, he heals uh, my burden bearer. Uh, my heavy load carer. Uh, Job said uh, he's a horn uh, a horn in the valley. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, ain't he all right? Uh, anybody know he all right? Uh, he's been mighty good to me. And I don't believe uh, he brought us this far. Uh, just to leave us now. Uh, ain't God all right? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you. He's all right right now. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Growing up as a child In my mother's care Mother told me You would always be there Now I'm a grown man